In early June, right at the very beginning of the summer in Hengelo, 12.56, the uh, little Ethiopian run there. Nobody's been able to come near it so far this year. Nobody else under 13 minutes indeed. Although Khalid Scar, who, uh, there he is, wearing number 49, well, does not start. That is a big surprise. That is an 11th hour decision by Khalid Scar to not run in the Grand Prix final. And that's a great shame in some respects because Scar has been such a mainstay of the uh, Grand Prix season. Over 3,000 and 5,000 metres. It still promises a great deal, this race. Before Scar's pullout, there were eight men under 13.10 in this race in 1994. Well, now, of course, there's seven. This is one of them, Bob Kennedy, the American. Indeed, uh, the fastest with 13.02. And it really would cap what has been a quite remarkable season. Well, I'm looking at the same picture as you, and I'm looking across the far side of the stadium, and, of course, we just saw Khalid Scar there. So, uh, quite what the... Uh, caption boss is doing at the moment I don't know but uh, Khalid Scar does start in Charlotte he's over there he's in this lineup and uh, I'm glad about that <laughs> the unmistakable uh, figure <laughs> of uh, Khalid Scar born at altitude incidentally in the Atlas Mountains so uh, even in Morocco you get some uh, altitude nurtured athletes and it certainly helped the Awitas the uh, Buteyebs and the Scars to come through So 12 men then, and one wonders what sort of nature this race will take on. We've seen some very, very fast races this year, many fast races indeed. Uh, that one of Gebre Selassie really was almost a freak performance because he won it by over uh, 12 seconds. Oslo was a fast race this year, being won in very, very close to 13 minutes. So was uh, Lille, where Scar had a great run to go close to 13 minutes, set a personal best. And it does look very much as though we've got what is in effect a pacemaker here. That's Alois Nizigama there in the lead over the first 200 metres. And they've gone through in around 29 and a half, 30 seconds for 200 metres. So uh, they're chasing fast times here. Well, he's a class man, isn't he, Tim? I mean, he was sixth in the World Championship 10,000 three years ago, fifth in the World Champs 10,000 last year, and seventh in the 5,000. So the Burundian is no mean man uh, on his own right. We've seen him win a couple of races at three and 5,000 uh, this year. But it certainly does look uh, like it to Tim, as if he's cutting out the pace for uh, Kip Tanui, Scar and Sigay, a couple of world record holders right in behind him. Well, Kip Tanui, of course, right in there. As Pat said, in second place, going through 400 metres in just outside 61 seconds. And uh, this is a strong feel. Kip Tanui able to enjoy the benefits of being a great runner on the flats as well as the uh, world record holder and double world champion in the steeplechase. The steeplechase, not a Grand Prix event this year. The 5,000 is. So Kip Tanui turning out in this one. And all the big names are right up there. Sige there, number 51 to the left of picture. World record holder in the uh, 10,000 metres. Looked tired in recent weeks. Ismail Kirui now moves up into a third place there alongside Khalid Scar. We haven't seen a great deal of him in recent weeks. What we have seen hasn't been very impressive by the 19-year-old uh, world champion at this distance. I wonder if he's going to save something for this tail end of the season. Yes, well, when he went under uh, 27 minutes for the first time, we were seeing a quite extraordinary performance. Just... Uh Well, we wondered before this race whether or not it would turn into a championship-type race with a uh, slow time and a lot of sitting around. It's quite the opposite. 1,000 metres just outside 2.35 means that this is world record pace now these men are putting down. Nizigama led the first 600 metres and uh, all the big names going through then from Scar, from Ismail Kirui, Bikila there, number 54, towards the back in blue is the man, of course, who helped Gebri Selassie to that world record earlier on in the summer. But nobody uh, has been dropped just yet despite this vicious pace and as uh, they come up towards four laps they're still knocking out laps around 62 and a half 63 seconds and could this be the day where Khalid Scar not only goes under 13 minutes but gets a world record he's set a world two miles best last year lost it to see the lead changing hands several times and Kip Tanui snatches his back from Khalid Scar and they're really stretching this field out dragging this field through at a ridiculous pace here very very fast indeed they're coming up towards five laps the time at five laps is going to be around 5 10 5 12 so they're still knocking out laps around 62 62 and a half seconds this looks to be sprinting doesn't it? it could be a 1500 meters race the pace they're moving at scar in second place at the moment there's an interesting little shot of Khalid scar his name in arabic means the runaway my goodness he's been a runaway this season 13 0 0 54 he ran at cologne to uh, come second on the world rankings
that has had such a busy season. One wonders where he gets that sort of uh, ability to sustain things from. He was fifth in the World Cross Country. He ran in the World Road Relay Championships in late r April. And then on the Grand Prix circuit, he's had wins at Saint Denis, Lille, Oslo. And even in the last couple of weeks, he's been racing in Berlin and Gothenburg. Well, look at this, Tim. Bob Kennedy of the USA <laughs> takes the lead. The US, really, for the last uh, 10, 15, almost 20 years, has been absolutely nowhere in 5,000 metres running. OK, they've had Sidney Marie, who's done 13.01, but, I mean, he was always behind a side, a Wita, or somebody else, certainly a, a Kenyan or Moroccan. Kennedy's come through this season. He's taken the racing to the North Africans, the Kenyans and the Ethiopians. He's done 13.04. He's proved to the Americans that you can do it on the track and he said stop messing around on the roads let's get back on the track and take the Africans apart and he's the best example I think to the Northern European and to the uh, US and in fact North American distance runners well, one senses the pace has slowed down a little bit now. Kennedy in the lead, Kiptanui and Scar sitting in second and third. That's Hisu in red for uh, Morocco in fourth place. Hisu, uh, interesting character, only 22 years old. New name on the season, on the scene really this year. Ran 27-21 at Brussels some uh, two or three weeks ago for 10,000 metres. Now Lalafi moves up into third place. Before this year, that wouldn't have been a familiar name either. He's only a youngster, Lalafi. Has uh, run 13.03 this year, and a really incredible thing is happening in both 5,000 and 10,000 in 1994. Kip Tanui now beginning to push his foot down on the pedal hard. He's in the lead from Scar, Lalafi, Nizigama, Hisu, and Kennedy in fifth and sixth places, and the group beginning to gradually whittle down. Chamoyo has dropped off the f dropped off the back. So has Sige, the world 10,000 meters champ record holder. That's uh, not surprising. He's been looking tired in recent weeks, but that's a big group of some 10 men. Well, Tim, while we're watching this absolutely intriguing 5,000 metres, the uh, bar's been set at 6.15 for Sergei Bubka. He's trying to upstage these fellas, but in fact, uh, Lalafi's doing a bit of upstaging himself in the 5,000. One of the least known men has shot into the lead. Tanui leads Scott, leads Isu, leads Nizigama. Tremendous 5,000 metres going on here. Grand Prix final, Stade Charlotte in Paris, live on Eurosport. We've got the pole vault on the uh, triple jump, the women's discus, the men's high jump, the, the uh, men's 5,000 metres here. And Lalafi moves out and lets Kip Tanui back into the lead. Pace has relented a bit now, Tim. We're not going to get uh, a sub-13, I don't think, but we're going to get an absolutely intriguing result. Well, no doubt about it, these men working together for a fast time. As Bat says, uh, no chance of a record or indeed a time of close to 13 minutes. But uh, it does have the makings of a very good race. They went through 3,000 metres in 7.56. Big, big slowdown that third kilometre from 5.13 at two kilometres. Now Kip Tanui leads again from Khalid Scar. Several of these men are big kickers. Interesting to see Ismail Kirui there moving through into fourth place, who hasn't had a good season at all, little Ismail Kirui. Haven't seen much of him indeed on the track circuit in 1994. The reigning world champion from last year, but he now moves up confidently onto the shoulder of Khalid Scar and one wonders if the Kenyans are going to start working together in the latter stages of this race. Well, look how the fortunes change. Bob Kennedy is uh, right at the back of that group of ten now. But... Uh the world record holders are still up there. It is, in fact, the reigning world champion gone into the lead, but uh, look at that. Khalid Scott, two miles uh, world record holder, was uh, taken from him by the man just on his shoulder, Moses Kipsenui, just a few weeks ago. Salah Yusu, one of the men for the future, coming up there in red on the outside, gathering themselves into this last uh, kilometre now, and just look how Kirui has accelerated, because he's probably got the least of the finishers of this man. Well, that lead group of five, three Moroccans, two Kenyans, Nizigama now for Burundi, pushes himself up there. He's only run 13.14 this year, Nizigama. Could be heading for a time faster than that. That's Chamoyo. He's a man who ran 13.07 to win the Monte Carlo Grand Prix, but he's dropped right, right back off this, off this pack. He's some 100, 150 metres behind them now with two laps to go. Of course, Tim, even uh, world 10,000 metres record holder William Segei is even further back from uh, Chemwayo and off the pace. They're almost half a lap now behind these men. So it's the, uh, the world champ leading, uh, well, another world champion with 10,000 metres right behind him. 
great race here. Less than two laps to go in this Grand Prix 5,000 metres final. Well, 65 second lap taking them up to 600 metres to go. It really has dawdled this pace over the last three or four laps. Kirui leads then from Hisu, the 22-year-old Moroccan who's had a quite incredible month. Came second in the Brussels 10K in 27 to 21. Then two days later, he ran Cologne. Scar in second place. Baisa comes round him, the Ethiopian, onto the shoulder of the Moroccan Lalafi. Baisa, who's been so overshadowed by the uh, North Africans in recent months, leads down the back straight. Several men spread across the track. Kiptanui still in the battle there to left of Pritcher. But Baisa, a very fast runner, 54.8. He ran to re, uh, run the fastest ever debut 10,000 metres. And with 200 to go, certainly I think Kennedy is out of it. Baisa from Kiptanui. Scar is still there in third place. Lalafi in fourth. Hisu coming wide for Morocco in the red. And look at Kiptanui. He's given his all now with over 100 to go. Has Khalid Scar got the speed for Morocco on the outside? Certainly Kiptanui. Faster over 1500 and Baisa goes down. It was looking so close. Scar, though, coming through, or does he? Scar at the line, they're dipping against the athletes wearing number 12 Bulami of Morocco. It is so, so close. Khalid Scar possibly denied the victory there by Khalid Bulami, who certainly uh, has come very, very close to his personal best. Had always been there in that lead pack, never featured amongst the leading three or four, though, and uh, saved a great deal for the home straight, possibly more than this man. Carly Scar, Baisa, the unfortunate one to go down in that desperate, uh, desperate rush in the last 50 metres. But Carly Scar, well, let's have a look at it again. I think he gets it on the dip pad, almost like a sprint. Well, one way or another, it's a Moroccan who's won. It's a man that we <laughs> hardly saw throughout the race. Khalid Bulami shot out of the pack with about 25 metres to go, came up on the shoulder of his countryman. But I do feel sorry for Baisa. He's not a great sprinter. He's on the curb at the moment. We're in number 52. He looks around to make sure he's clear on the inside. He tries to cut out. He just catches uh, Khalid Scar's outstretched uh, leg. Down he goes when the Ethiopian Olympic bronze medalist in the uh, 10,000 metres was coming through. Look at Bulami, though. You had a feel that uh, Scar had the best chance of victory with one lap to go because of his sprint. Bulami comes through. It's almost impossible to respond at that juncture. But uh, Sotomayor, 236, was beyond him. Three failures at that for him. Baiza, well, the finish line beyond him for all intents and purposes, gets back up pretty quickly, but the whole field have gone past him. Certainly the uh, eight men in the rest of that pack. But what a battle there. Really, that's a slow race by today's standards, isn't it? That's why we got the sprint like that. 13-14 means nothing in 1994. No, indeed. But what a great finish to the Grand Prix final for...